Yes, get him in. Lieutenant John Wright reporting on duty for further training. At ease, John. I'm pleased by your can-do spirit. But remember, the most important thing, it's not the rules and discipline that you need the most in aviation, but knowledge and good understanding of what you're doing. Even we, the experienced pilots, sometimes have doubts when flying these war machines. And that means only the one who has more knowledge and can use this knowledge to beat the opponent can fly and fight successfully. Understood, Captain. I'll always try to remember this. Excellent, John. But today we have to learn a lot more. You might suspect what is awaiting you today after the successful previous mission. I hope to be granted full control of the plane from takeoff to landing. Exactly so. Let's begin. To be a good pilot, you need to know not only how to control the plane, but also what is happening with the plane. We've learned to control the plane. Now you need to learn the main gauges that will tell you what's going on with the plane. So the main gauge is the airspeed indicator. Speed is life for a plane. That's why you have to pay special attention to this gauge. In flight, keep your speed between 80 and 300 kilometers an hour. Later, I'm going to tell you more about speed. RPM, revolutions per minute indicator, shows the number of engine RPM and is indirectly concerned with the airspeed. Remember, push the throttle from you, the plane flies faster. Pull it, the plane flies slower. That's how you can manage the engine and control the airspeed. The next, not less important gauge is the altimeter. I can't tell you about the minimum altitude. You can figure that out for yourself what happens with a plane at zero altitude. Also remember that altitude influences your engine operation. At high altitudes, the air that the engine needs to work has a lower density. The engine starts to choke because of the lack of air, therefore the engine power drops and the RPM decreases. Well, that's about it about plane controls. Now about your task for today. Now you have to perform a circle flight with takeoff and landing. After takeoff, you'll proceed through the checkpoints. After passing one checkpoint, proceed to the other, and so on until landing. And now, let's take a look at these steps in detail. After you have started and warmed up the engine, increase the RPM to the maximum. The plane starts gaining speed and soon picks up the tail. Hold takeoff direction using pedals. When you've reached 80 kilometers an hour, smoothly pull control stick towards you and the plane will slowly take off the ground. Remember, no harsh moves with the stick. Reach 150 meters altitude. Control your speed and heading. Turn to the next checkpoint. After you pass the first checkpoint, start turning left towards the next checkpoint. Control your speed and altitude. Continue from one checkpoint to another until you pass the whole route. Now you have to land. After the final turn, start descending and lower the engine RPM so that the plane is not accelerating but also isn't losing speed. Control your speed, altitude, and heading of descent. When 5 to 10 meters above the ground, level the wings of your plane and smoothly pull the control stick towards you to force the plane into a level flight at an altitude of not more than 1 meter. Hold the control stick in this position and decrease the throttle completely. The plane will lose speed on its own no, and land. Shit. Remember, when you're doing this, the altitude must not be too high. When the tail touches the ground, fully pull the control stick towards you. Keep the direction of the run using pedals. That's how easy your today's mission is. Hmm. It really isn't that easy as it seemed to be. Don't be upset before you try. The main quality of a fighter pilot is self-confidence. You can and must be controlled. All the rest is your skill and knowledge. Now let's go to the plane. Come on, John. More confidence. You'll do it just fine. Remember the main things. Speed, altitude, and attention. My hints will help you to accomplish this mission. Good luck. Yes, sir. trying to eat the plate and the tablet. Tab. Yeah. 
had to buy a while to get her a new one. But...
Tiden är väl samma kort. Vad? Det är väl samma stream. Great job, John. Så jag går in. Mission accomplished. Now we can go over to the new one. The way to go. Oh, two.